Hey there, Pokey fam. It's Lady of the Lake. I'm back. Sorry that I haven't posted a video in a while, but I am here and for the release day of Brilliant Stars. I didn't pre-order any of these. I have been kind of focusing back to collecting a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh lately, but I didn't want to miss out on this pack. So I went to my local Walmart and Target and picked up some uh, blister packs as well as this really cute, and I'll shift the camera around, this really cute uh, Magic Rebo playmat. I also got a portfolio, which I took a picture of from my Instagram. Let's see if the camera is working. So I have 13 packs here. I got them out of the cardboard that was surrounding them. Uh, they were a bit difficult this go around to get them out. Good thing that I did that off camera because they really decided to like glue these uh, in there and I had to forcibly get these out. Hopefully I didn't bend any cards or anything like that. But there are so many cool cards in this set. I am hoping for the Arceus V Alt Art. Um, I am hoping also for uh, either the Rainbow Charizard Star or the Charizard V Alt Art which everybody is going for. It is so cool that they decided to release that. I know that there is like a Japanese uh, promo that is similar to that one, but good luck getting your hands on that one without having to spend like a lot of money. So I assume it is four to the front still because these are sword and shield packs. So, to start off, I have a Dark Energy, a Tropius, a Fracture, and I will speed this up as I go through the first couple packs. A Purloin. And what's really neat about getting, I think, blisters from like a local Walmart or Target, I actually get luckier. Or better pulls on average. So it does kind of look like I have something. So I have a Gibble into a Lapras. Not shiny at all, but I do love the artwork on that. I'm gonna put my reverse foil. And show off all these code cards. Oh wow, look at the cent look at the centering on that guy. Wow. So I haven't so I don't mind sharing those code cards because I don't play the online Pokemon game. This one's really badly cut too. But I have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and I have just been loving that game. Compared to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Hearthstone, it is so much easier to build decks. At least right off the bat. And I definitely try to not make the same mistakes with Master Duel that I did with Duel Links and Hearthstone, where I try to use my starting gems that they give you when you start far, uh, when you s first start off the game, and not waste it on on stuff that really wasn't that good at all. So I got a Moltres. That is a pretty good looking uh, regular foil. And then this is one that like got really glued.
I'm looking at the card list too. Some really neat gold cards. There's the gold Galarian Articuno V, which looks really neat too. I'll just have like TCG player up on my other monitor when I'm doing pack openings. So nothing crazy yet. Team yells, cheer, Marnie's pride. There's also a Marnie, uh, the full art Marnie card in here as well. Dust skull. Center this a little bit more. Executor, Grimer, Breloom, into a Wormadam. That is such a cute Breloom. I do like the little spores that are in the air next to it. This is another one. And normally it's not that bad with the adhesive. But these were really in there this time. So we get a choice band. I remember that from competitive Pokemon. Electabuzz, Electrovire into a Mewtwo. Wow, look at the artwork on that. It's really interesting. And I'm actually interested. Tax of the Pokemon this card is attached to does 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That makes a lot more sense. Because Choice Band increases um, an attack power uh, of a Pokemon, but it locks that Pokemon into that mode. I felt something with texture, so maybe I got some snow runt. And I'm trying to like get these in focus, but my camera's like a bit zoomed out. Abachu Baratic into a heat ran. Even though that is a normal um, non foil, I really do love heat ran. So I will put that kind of off to the side. So let's push the camera down a little bit more. So no V's, no... So I think I am do for something decent at this point. Have a water energy, a clay doll, into a Morgram, Tropius, Staryu, uh, Magmar. That's an interesting artwork, Magmar. It's snowy. Clefable into, ooh, got a Garchomp. It's not bad, not bad. I do like the reverse Clefable. Psychic Energy, Barry, a Clang, Cynthia's Ambition, Cast Form, Throw, Sroomash, Piplup, Turtwig, Morgrem, into That's What I'm Talking About. Oh, wow. 
So just got my first V Star card. I also can't wait to take a picture of this with uh, my Arceus plushie too, but that is really, really neat. So at the moment of opening this, it is a $30 card. Uh-oh, I don't have all my sleeves up here. I don't have my sleeves handy. So let me go grab some sleeves. I cleared everything off my desk to put the new Magic Karibo uh, play mat, and I'd moved uh, uh, I don't want to clip it okay. I'm just like super OCD with my cards it's just how I am So what I just need to do now is get the, the RCSV old art. I don't mind pulling RCS uh, print plop. Sincino, cleansing gloves, a dust skull, sneasel, corfosh, magmar again, spirit tomb, executor into a wormadon. Once again, also as I said earlier, the pull rates aren't typical. These are from two different stores and these are loose blisters. I was opening a booster box, which I do plan on getting. Just wanna see where the market is for these. Um, I've seen the market just completely drop uh, for Fusion Strike. Look at the back on that one. For Fusion Strike Elite Trainer Boxes, they're actually lower than MSRP right now. They MSRP at $40, and they're going for about $34. You can find it for about $34, even with free shipping from some sellers. You know, which is really interesting because I had a lot of sources that were saying that Fusion Strike was going to have a little bit of a lower print run compared to uh, some of the other recent packs that had come out, like Chilling Rain and Battle Styles, which were printed quite heavily. Ooh, got a Lucario. So hopefully I pull one more really good card here. Apparently there's a rainbow version of this as well. And speaking of Karibo too, I do plan on possibly opening a Brothers of Legend Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Box into... That's what I'm talking about. Got another Arceus, but Arceus V. So I'm just like pulling all the Arceus cards right now. So 
So it does seem a little bit off center from the front, but that's fine. Got fire energy, choice spell, starly, spirit tomb, forlorn, jinx, into, I've pulled like two of these at least, and last brilliant stars pack. I did, I did pre-order, however, uh, the ETB. For brilliant stars from the Pokemon Center website. I didn't pre-order any booster boxes though. And like I usually do, I order at least two from the Pokemon Center. I ordered two this time. I'll open one and keep the other one sealed for my collection. Ooh, the Weevil looks so cool. Weavile, rather. Clefairy, Carablast, into a Whimsicott V. So at least I pulled a V card. So out of 13 packs, I got three hits. That is about average. Maybe below average, but... Um, but that does not conclude the video because I was able to also pick up a Leafeon V-Star box that I'm going to open on this video. And it looks like it's got at least two fusion strikes, a chilling rain. Uh, well, let's pop this open and find out. At least I get another V star. So that's going to be really neat. Hopefully, I don't have these like go all over the place. It's a, it's not a magnet or something. It doesn't ha it does it's not a pin. Didn't read what the box said it was, but it's neat. So and I get an evolving skies. So it was definitely worth it to get it. Here is the code card for this box. Oh, we get two evolving skies. So there's five packs. Sorry that I'm zoomed in. Can't see the whole card, but it is textured as well.
and awesome. So these shouldn't be a pain to pop out. I've been getting some promo cards out of like the, um, so you know the little blister packs where it has like a, a single promo, it's like one or two packs. I've noticed that lately that I've been getting promo cards that are creased or they're not in the best condition or they have like a little bit of wear. It's probably typical because they just jam them in there. But it kind of pisses me off a little bit because then I have, I mean, it's only usually, um, usually like $1 cards, but very often with cards that are that cheap, uh, you pay more on the shipping. It just is better to go out and buy, um, another blister promo pack. So I am going to do Evolving Skies last, Evolving Skies, let's put Fusion Strike in the center of Fusion Strike first. So, Lightning Energy, Diggersby, Quillfesh, Gossifleur, Sizzlepeed into a Tyranitar V. I believe I already have the Tyranitar V, but it's still a hit. So this is the Evolving Skies. So we got Steel Energy, Scroll of the Fang Dragon, Swoobot, Love Disc, into a Drampa, so nothing cool. So here is a Fusion Start. Shelter. Oops. Caterpie Jinx into a Butterfur. Let me put that off to the side. Actually, that's a foil, so that has to go with the foils. So which one is this? This is a Chilling Rain. It's going to be off center. Uh, scroll of the skies. Cast form, Rockra, Shuppet, Sir, Sir fetched into a Scolio feed. And have a evolving skies here.
Lombre, Mary, Drowsy, Scraggy, Feebas, Farch Fetched into a Flapple. Eh, so that was an okay box, I guess. But wait, there's more. There's still one more thing. I picked up, and I guess you can't see it because I'm too zoomed in. So let's switch cameras. So I got this Meganium and Decidueye box. It's supposed to have three packs and a coin. And just try it out. I saw it in Target. And and seen something like this before. I mean, usually you see in Target and Walmart is like repack pins and boxes. Usually those aren't worth it. So we'll see whether this guy's worth it at all. <clears throat> uh, they put adhesive on the side. Ooh, there's a little whimsicott. Um, side of the box. So, it's just having a fun time there. So what did I spend my money on? I got a coin and I got Ooh, I got a Vivid Voltage and an Evolving Skies, so that's actually pretty cool. Tins, I think, a bit too small to really store anything in there. Except, like, maybe a stack of cards. I guess it would make a pretty cool deck box. So this is my Evolving Skies. Alrighty, Riviere, Spirit Mask, Gossifer, Pumpkaboo, Dino, Chinchow, Hippopotamus into a Gyarados VMAX. Boom, that is so shiny. So at least I pulled a VMAX tonight. So this is my chillin' rain. Water energy, lucky energy. I think the fluffy in this pack is so freaking cute. Relics into a Weavile. Ooh, I might take a picture of that with my new Weavile plushie. That looks pretty cool. So I got Vivid Voltage. I can say I've opened quite a bit of Vivid Voltage. I, I kind of gave up on pulling the Rainbow Chew. Because my luck was just... Eh. So I decided to just go ahead and buy one. But I, it wouldn't break my heart if I pulled one. I mean, it wouldn't hurt my feelings. Wubat, Urkuda, Stunfisk, into a Garbodor. Interesting artwork. I always jinx it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna pull the the rainbow chew. Um, of course, I don't. So I have a Tyranitar V. So for this recap, have the Gyarados V Max, which I really like that pull. Next to the Arceus, I think this is one of the best pulls out of this video. I have the Leafeon V. Have the Arceus V, 
Oh, I mixed that up. I have my Leafeon V-Star. I love the silver border with the V-Star card. Whimsicott V and Arceus V, which is so freaking cool. That was the best one. Uh, I mean, I believe the best pull out of the entire opening. So thank you for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button. It helps me out. Uh, subscribe so you can stay updated for when I post new videos and content. Let's go ahead and I guess recap the reverse foils real quick to reverse and regular foils. And then I'll end the video. And Garchomp was pretty cool. I did get a reverse Electrovire. I pulled so many of those. And the Breloom is so adorable. And once again, thank you. And I will catch you all next time. This is Lady of the Lake. Peace out.